Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Advika. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Sudhani. Good evening, ma'am. Okay, so good evening, everyone. Still, a few students are left to join. Uh, so we discussed about performing an activity in the last class. Ma'am, actually, I want to ask you something. Mm -hmm. Like uh, yesterday, like when I saw my mark, like it was thirty. But I was uh, like now I like I uh, like the, the, I found some errors in the answers there. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the corrections, there were some uh, uh, errors. I saw. I saw, I saw all that. Yeah, I saw all that thing, and the marking, grace marking has been already been assigned to all of you. Means no marks have been cut for that particular answers. So no need to worry. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, so bud opening, uh, like blooming of flower, is a physical change, right? Yeah. 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 No need to worry about those questions because. Whether the answer was correct or incorrect, it, uh, the marks are provided to everyone for those answers, okay? 
Okay, ma'am. So tell me, how many of you have started performing that activity of crystallization? Ma'am, I started it on the same day itself. Okay, Divesh, you uh, took salt or sugar what? Ma'am, salt. Okay. <laughs> Ma'am, even I started with salt. I'm like, can I start it tomorrow? Water? Did you boil the water also? Yes, I boiled the water for like uh, five minutes. Five minutes, okay. Uh, means, did you re uh, notice any uh, reduction in the level of water? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Yeah. Then it must be, uh, yeah. the uh, observation must be there within next two days. Hope so. How much of water you took mm. in all? Now I took like a glass of water. A glass of water, okay. Great. And how many spoons of salt or sugar you need to add to water? Ma'am, ma till it is not dissolved. Till it is yes. still, uh, still tell me the count now. You must have done. Ma'am, it's like uh, 10 spoons because I have a small uh, one. Like 12, to, uh, like 12 to 13 spoons at least. Oh, great, great, great. Fine. Uh, fine, let's wait for the final result. Okay, and I hope you all have captured the photos or videos also. Have you all captured the photo or have you all captured the video? Anything to show it later? Ma'am, it's still not done. No, but at the beginning, at least you can. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Now we are uh, starting the next chapter, biology chapter I thought to take, respiration in organisms. Okay. Mm, so first tell me, what is, uh, what do you mean by respiration? Or Okay, let's begin with the difference between breathing and respiration. And breathing is uh, like when we uh, inhale and when, at the same time when we exhale, that is called one breath. One breath means one inhalation and one exhalation. And that is called a breath. And respiration means the breath. Oh, Sudan, wait. Sudan, please wait, wait. Uh, Ashwat. Ashwat? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you tell me what is meant by respiration? Hmm. The process of breathing. Process of breathing is itself a process. And like uh, the oxygen taken by the lungs. Okay. Further, what happens? Okay, After lungs the, take in the oxygen then? Uh, they will uh, inject into the cells. That oxygen will... get into the cells. Yes, Okay, then that's absolutely correct. Uh, go ahead, Ashwat. Man, can I, can I know this much? Man, can I tell? Okay, okay. Mm, Charvik, Charvik, Charvik. Charvik, you tell? Charvik, can you hear me? Oh, yes, sir. Hmm. Ma'am, sir, respiration like is a process uh, by which the oxygen which we take uh, helps the like the food to like uh, obtain glucose from it, like the energy. Okay. So I hope the difference is clear at least a bit. That breathing is just inhalation and exhalation. That's all. But when we inhale, we take in oxygen and when we exhale, we exhale carbon dioxide. So how it is so means where that oxygen has gone and where does the carbon dioxide come out from? Means, okay, we inhale, it enters the nostrils, then it goes into the nasal passage, then further it enters the windpipe, it enters the lungs, after lungs, what? 
So this is what we have to study in the chapter now. Okay. So respiration is the phenomena of obtaining energy from with the help of oxygen. Okay, because we need energy to perform all our daily routine tasks. So this is respiration. Now let me share the screen. Can you see the screen PPT? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So we, as we know, that all living organisms respire means they need energy so whatever they inhale gets transformed into some products and which is used by one or the other organisms further so respiration is essential for survival of living organism it releases energy from the food and the oxygen we inhale is used to break down glucose into carbon dioxide in water we'll be looking at the equation also so don't worry this is just the statements energy is released in the process and respiration is a process which involves breathing. Uh, please note down this part. I'm sure we you can also write that uh, respiration is a process by which living beings produce energy from the food. Respiration is the process by which living beings produce energy from the food. And respiration usually needs oxygen, not always, but usually needs oxygen. Would anybody write, uh, like to write this uh, short statement for respiration definition? Done, ma'am. Pardon? Done, ma'am. Okay. Should I move ahead? I'm on Yes, ma'am. One second.
Is it done? Yes, ma'am. Adhika, please read it out. Why do organisms respire? Organisms respire to get energy from food. During respiration, energy is released from food and this takes place inside the cells of the body. Oxygen of air taken inside the cells is used for breaking down of food and energy is released by burning food. Respiration. It is the process by which food, glucose, is broken down into the cell, in the cells of the body with the help of oxygen to release energy. Since respiration takes place in the cells of the body, it is called cellular respiration. So we um, respire to get energy from the food. And during respiration, we all know that energy is released from the food. That's why we can perform the task throughout the day and uh, we remain active. Means suppose if you do not uh, have the meals uh, a day, then at the end of the day, you can clearly get to know because you will be feeling tired and lazy and, you know, unable to be that active like you are in the, your usual days. So when we inhale oxygen, after it goes into the lungs, it enters the cells, the cell, I must say, which is the fundamental unit of life, like bricks form the building, our body is formed out of the cells, okay, then in the presence of oxygen, oxygen is must to uh, obtain the food out of the glucose, so when the oxygen enters the cells, the food we have eaten gets break down into glucose and energy and some amount of water. That water then further it's released in the form of the waste uh, through the uh, like in the uh, form of the urinary waste and oxygen of air taken inside the cell is used for breakdown of glucose and energy and energy is released by burning food. So this is basically you can say the way we cook the food in our kitchen the another way means you can say just in another way, it is further being broken down inside the body to extract the best possible energy out of the food for us to get energy. Got it? Mom, um, mom yeah. burning, do they mean the hydrochloric acid like uh, burning the food? Pardon? Mom, by burning, do they mean the hydrochloric acid acting on the food? Yeah, you are correct because but uh, see burning is a term basically used for digestion you can say there not only the digestion process not only takes place in our stomach uh, i must say that digestion starts from our mouth itself the first step when we put a bite into our mouth we chew the food this is the first step of digestion further it enters intestine then it goes to stomach and further into the cells uh, uh, means more and more energy is getting extracted out so the burning word means digestion you can say and yes hcl presence is also required inside the stomach because it helps the chemical reaction easier mean presence of hcl makes the digestion process easier and you know the hydrochloric acid produce it keeps on uh, releasing uh, means automatically inside the stomach suppose for a single day if you do not eat anything if you have ever felt that you have a burning sensation in the stomach which is also you know rising towards the chest the middle of the body so that is only the hydrochloric acid effect because it keeps on releasing out and we did not have any food so it is giving us the uh, burning sensation mom that's why we get stomach ache Yes, yes. And due to that hydrochloric acid, what the is... burning sensation, further we feel that we have a gastric uh, in uh, forming inside the stomach, you know, which is moving here and there. So such type of issues. That's why doctors recommend not to eat anything at once. Just you can take a small amount of uh, anything, means a small amount of food in multiple times. Like we do, we take three meals suppose a day. And we, you know, we keep on eating until our stomach is feeling now, wow, means our stomach is now full. We do not have to do that. Take small, small quantities in multiple, frequently. Okay. And then what does uh, that eno powder, like there are some powders, Sama? 
हाँ सो इफ यू हैव एवर हर्ड दैट सी हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड दिस एसिड वर्ड इज यू कैन से समथिंग विच हैज डू यू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ पी एच वैल्यू ओके सो एसिड मीन्स विच हैव अ वेरी लो वैल्यू ऑफ पी एच मीन्स बर्निंग सेंसेशन ओके नाउ टू रिप्लाइज दिस इफेक्ट टू टू नॉर्मलाइज दिस इफेक्ट वी नीड समथिंग वेरी बेसिक बेसिक मीन्स विच हैज अ वेरी हाई पी एच वैल्यू पोटेंस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन पी एच मीन्स पोटेंस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन राइट मीन्स हाइड्रोजन आय सो दैट इनो इज अ टाइप ऑफ बेस मीन्स यू कैन से ऑपोजिट ऑफ एसिड इज बेस like how it will up and down how it will neutralize the base will neutralize the so in general for neutralization for normalizing the burning effect of hydrochloric acid we need eno or otherwise we can take a soda also in water sometime it it this yeah. also works right yeah okay yeah. so respiration is a process by which food is broken down in the cells of body with the help of oxygen to release energy Uh, since respiration takes place in the cells of body that's why it is called cellular respiration uh please note this down quickly just give me a second okay do one thing children please uh, hold on you can leave the space for that two uh, paragraphs Uh, first draw this diagram so that i'll be able to explain cellular respiration easier okay uh, no need to draw this boy you can just uh, draw these arrows the label part and you know these lungs and the blue and red arrows and this one uh, the circular shape whatever it is shown draw right. quickly okay and very neat and clean because this has a lot uh, in this means most of the part will be explained by this diagram only Ma'am, can we take like uh, one screenshot? Dear, you can draw it now because I have to explain something based on this. So it will be your practice also. So please draw it now.
Have you drawn the diagram? One, one second. second. One second. Uh, I hope it is done now. Oh, uh, mom, I'm so okay. Done. Everyone, please confirm. Yeah. One minute, ma'am. Uh, how many types of respiration is there? Two types. Oh. Um, Arabic and in Arabic, right? Yeah. Okay. Should we start? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The first step is look at the blue arrow first. When we breathe, we yeah. intake oxygen. Let me annotate on the screen. Ma'am, there is something called like alveoli or something like I don't mm -hmm. remember. Yeah, it is present inside the lungs. Okay. Look at the first step, that is blue arrow. When we breathe in, we intake oxygen. Okay. After we breathe in, that air, that oxygen goes into the lungs. To the pair of lungs, it enters. Now, inside the enters, the things which are looking here, like branch-like structures, you know, this type of structure. Uh, at the tip of these uh, structures, they have some balloon-like things which is called alveoli, okay? And further on the walls of these balloon-like structure, uh, they have the opening for the oxygen to pass through the, to pass on to the cells, okay? You can say like, uh, hmm, you can say it is like cloth-like structure, which is, uh, whose texture is, you know, uh, so narrow means net-like structure. So when we inhale the oxygen pass on to the cells through these alveoli, through these balloon-like structures. Fine. Now further what happens? Just hmm. <laughs>
Hmm. After it uh, goes to the lungs, you can see the arrow here. Six O two means oxygen is now entering another uh, part here, which is written, which is named mitochondria. Anybody knows what is mitochondria? I'm a type of cell. Pardon? Cell. Uh, you can say it is a powerhouse of the cell. Okay, although cells are called the fundamental unit of life, means our body structure is all made up of cells, but you can write down, please note down, mitochondria hyphen, along near to the diagram you can write. Mitochondria are uh, the powerhouses of the cell. Powerhouse is a single word. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. Uh, uh, make the next para. They are the organelles. It is all about mitochondria, I'm telling you. They are the organelles. O-R-G-A-N-E-L-L-E-S. <coughs> They are the organelles that act like our digestive system. They are the organelles that act like digestive system. Which takes in nutrients. Which that act like? Uh, organelles that act like digestive system which takes in nutrients okay. comma breaks them down comma breaks them down and creates energy rich molecules for the cell and breaks them down uh, breaks them down and creates energy rich molecules for the cell. Ma'am, can you repeat? Just a second. After yeah, mitochondria are known as the powerhouses of the cell. They are the organelles that act like a digestive system, which takes in nutrients, breaks them down, and creates energy rich molecules for the cell. Done? Creates energy. Rich molecules creates energy rich molecules for the cell. Full stop. The biochemical processes, the biochemical processes of the cell are known as cellular respiration. And the, the biochemical processes of the cell are known as cellular respiration. Um, can you repeat? The complete paragraph? No, ma'am. The line you just said. The last statement. The biochemical processes of the cell are known as cellular respiration. Should I repeat the complete paragraph once if anyone has missed? Yes, ma'am. Mitochondria are known as the powerhouse of the cell. They are the organelle that act like a digestive system, which takes in nutrients, breaks them down, and creates energy-rich molecules for the cell.
the biochemical processes of the cell are known as cellular respiration. Is it done now? Yes, yes ma'am. Hmm. Next is, after the oxygen entered the mitochondria, it is written energy 36 ATP. Now, what is ATP? Okay, I'll just tell you. What happens here? Uh, inside the cell, you know, whatever we are eating means glucose is here because respiration is the breakdown of glucose only and oxygen presence is only required. Okay, so whatever we have intake already, after the uh, chemical reaction which yes. takes place inside mitochondria, we release out water vapor and uh, water vapor means in the form of, uh, you know, liquid part only is the kind of waste or in the form of sweat means whatever liquid we release out from our body, it is that water vapor only. And uh, after this, the red arrow, look at the red arrow, means the carbon dioxide that we are to exhale about Okay, six molecules of carbon dioxide in both the lungs means that alveolar sacs only return the carbon dioxide, which is the, uh, you can say it is impure air. The oxygen we take is called the pure air and now we are exhaling out the impure air carbon dioxide and here you can see it is out of the body. So, how much time we take to take the uh, breathe intake and exhale? How many seconds if you can notice? Mom, one. Hardly one, isn't it? Yes. So just think of it that all this process, the breakdown of glucose is taking place within that fraction of second only. Isn't that interesting? Yes. And apart from this, yeah, we should write 6 H2O uh, plus 6 molecule of CO2 here. Uh, we are giving back out plus energy. So these three are the products of the respiration that occurs inside our body. Okay, now next is write down what is ATP, means energy that we release. Are you, is anyone asking something? No. Okay, now what is ATP? Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, means where energy is stored after the chemical reaction, okay? And 36 molecules of ATP, like it is written 6 CO2, 6 H2O, that means 6 molecules. So 36 ATP means 36 molecules of ATP. Write the full form of ATP. Adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate and further note down, um, it is a chemical compound or you can say it is the energy currency, write down it is the energy currency of the cell. Means it, it stores energy and it provides energy for all the cells. Mom, can you repeat that sentence? Mom, it stores energy and? It stores and provides energy for the cells. Adenosine triphosphate is the energy currency of the cell basically it's a compound okay like simply you can understand molecule of oxygen you understand molecule of carbon so it is a, a type of a compound which provides energy okay Got it. So in the product, we get 36 molecules of energy, we get uh, carbon dioxide and we get water vapors. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Anything you want to ask out of this diagram and uh, about cellular respiration? Uh, see, uh, 
just right under the cellular respiration heading, there is a reaction. Uh, please note this down. C6H12O6 glucose plus 6O2 gives out 6CO2, 6H2O and th plus 36 ATP. Note down this uh, reaction, please. Mom, can you repeat? Uh, see, I'm telling mm -hmm. about this. Look at the pointer. This reaction, note this down. Um, basically, it's the, almost like the uh, photosynthesis reaction. Yeah, 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 you can say. Can you tell that ATP one? What is this the uh, formula of ATP molecules? No, this this is not the formula of ATP molecules. Thirty six molecules of energy you can understand. Adenosine triphosphate is actually a compound, but in general term you can say this is a uh, energy currency. Means this is itself the energy molecule. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Noted everything? Yes, ma'am. Uh, fine. Then revise this part. Whatever we have done today, we'll meet in the next class now. Okay. Yeah. Bye. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye.